to be heading to Somerset, but the M6 has had an accident, we think. So at the minute, we're not even at Evesham and we've been on the road about an hour and 15 minutes. It's a Monday and the traffic is diabolical. So luckily we're in no rush because we ain't going to be getting there till about half six tonight. One of them, ain't it, today, Uggs? Yes, it is. Yeah. Look, Carl's in green. Got your new top on, ain't you, Uggs? Yep. Yeah. So, we've just pulled into the petrol station because we had a dopey person behind us who couldn't drive. I was trying to undertake. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid man. Yep. Right, we're carrying on then, ain't we? We'll be in a minute, yeah. Yeah. Carl's just cramming a double bloody what city bollocky thing. Snicker. Yeah, you and your Snickers, man. Hardly moving, are we? Uh, one more an hour, if that. Oh. Yeah. Zero mile an hour, innit? Good, ain't it? Well, we got to our destination. Took yep. us about three hours, ain't it? Yeah, traffic. Yeah. And Carl's already had a run in with a bloody local, ain't ya? Doing well. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've been here about half an hour and he's taught knock out yeah. and had a row with somebody. Yeah. Another, with a dog. Yeah, another dog walk out. Yeah. I was walking up the hill and I saw him coming towards me with a dog. He had two dogs. And the one dog, the big dog, it was just loose on the lead and he saw me up knock up and move away. And he moved towards me and I thought, what are you doing? And then his dog went for knock knock snap back and then he had a go at me. It's holding where did he go, you know what I mean? We have come to the very picturesque Clevedon in Somerset and that's the Victorian Pier built in 1869. We were walking down that end, but there is loads of people down there. So we're going back. The walk we're on is Poet's Walk. Ain't it, Uggs? It is. I would say a poem, but I don't know one. No, I don't know if you heard him, but he said he'd say a poem, but he don't know one. Right, I've been told I've got to film this car for Ramondo Ramble. It's a Mustang. Look at him. Nosy or what? Look at that for a gorgeous view out the window. And we're hoping that we're going to get an amazing sunset. Look at Carl trying to get a photo of the sun. <laughs> It's bright out there. <laughs> He's had so. to put his sunglasses on, man. It is blinding, isn't it? It's still glared. Your eyes are gl it's bad, isn't it? Yes. Gorgeous, though. I know. It is a nice view from here, isn't it? Ain't that absolutely gorgeous? Might be man made, but it just adds to the beauty. Look at that with the lights on. 
absolutely beautiful. Everybody's gone at last. But it is about 20 past 12. Yeah. Yeah. And the toys come in. I'm already happy. Our favourite ice cream. So we're just coming along the pier. It's three pounds seventeen adult. You can come and go all day. The money goes to the upkeep of the pier. And a bit of information: the pier is one thousand and twenty feet long. 310 meters and it is 43 feet above the water and Carl noticed all these are name plaques and you can reserve a plaque to have your name on here Obviously when you've snuffed it, but it is lovely here, really, really peaceful.
And that wooden structure there, sorry. That wooden sculpture that was carved from the original wood that was in the sea and it's made from green heart wood which apparently doesn't float even when it's wet and it's 50% heavier than oak. Victorians knew what they were doing. Carl with his hot chocolate moustache is going to give you some information about the pier. Only a bit of information. Go on then. October 1970, 16th of October 1970, 10am in the morning. They were doing weight test on the actual pier for insurance reasons. And then two sections of the pier collapsed under the weight. So they had to shut it down. It wasn't until 1998 when it was finally finished. It took them that long to get fundraising. A lot of it came from the National Lottery, but they opened it up in October 1998. And did you know they had a big cruise ship here? Did and they? And people were dressed in the old Victorian stuff. Victorian style. stuff. Yep. Cool. That would be good. It would be good. Lovely and relaxing, isn't it? It is, very. At the minute, anyway. Yeah, it starts getting round. Yeah, it might not get busy. Just somewhere you can sit and wall away a few hours, man, doing nothing. Just watching the boats go by. And this is the waves lapping around. Yeah. And there's us parked up, bottom left. Right on the promenade. And that's the way to the pier there. Enjoying your ice cream again, are ya? I've already had mine, ain't I? Yep, all gone. Yeah, I had mine in a tub as usual. From the cafe on the corner. Not sure what it's called. Oh, we'll get the name up and put it at the bottom. Because she was absolutely lovely, weren't she? told her I had celiac disease because of the cones and she got fresh tubs out and everything to do my ice cream never had that have we ever no they don't normally even know what the allergens are half the time no no yeah really nice place look a little nooky waiting to have some ice cream oh he loves it look at him nookies in heaven yeah Loves it, don't you, puppy? That's it, no more. And at the minute, we're just sat in a little park area. We're going to walk Nucky Bear, ain't we? We are. And then we're going to go. I ain't walked in here yet, so I don't know where we're going. So we're going to leave this one here. And we'll see you on the next one at our next destination. We will. So, boy from me. And a boysy boy boy from me. Ah, oh, it's a boysy boy boy. No, <laughs> not a boysy boy. A boysy boy boy. Boy. Boy.